Greetings of the day viewers. Let's start today's topic financial accounting preferably about the accounting principles. Accounting principles are the building blocks for GAAP. GAAP stands for generally accepted accounting principles. All of the concepts and standards in GAAP can be traced back to the underlying accounting principles. Some accounting principles come from long used accounting practices whereas others come from ruling making bodies like FASB. It's important to have a basic understanding of these main accounting principles as you learn accounting. This isn't it just memorizing some accounting information for a test and then forgetting it 2 days later. These principles show up all over the place in the study of accounting. Trust me, after you know the basic accounting principles, most accounting topics will make more sense. You will be able to reference these principles and reason your way through revenue, expense, and any other combination of problems later on in the study course. Here we will discuss basic accounting principles that make up gap in the United States. Namely, the 10 most common accounting principles are historical cost principle, revenue recognition principle, matching principle, full disclosure principle, cost benefit principle, conservatism principle, consistency principle, objectivity principle, accrual principle, economic entity principle. Firstly, we'll talk about historical cost principle. Historical cost principle requires companies to record the purchase of goods, services or capital assets at the price they paid for them. Assets are then remaining on the balance sheet at their historical without being adjusted for fluctuations in market value. The second one is revenue recognition principle. Revenue recognition principle requires companies to record revenue when it is earned instead of when it is collected. This accrual basis of accounting gives a more accurate picture of financial events during the period. After the matching principle comes. Matching principle states that all expenses must be matched and recorded with their respective revenues in the period that they were incurred instead of when they are paid. This principle works with the revenue recognition principle ensuring all revenue and expenses are recorded on the accrual basis the fourth principle is full disclosure principle full disclosure principle requires that any knowledge that would materially affect a financial statement user's decision about the company must be disclosed in the footnotes of the financial statements This prevents companies from hiding material facts about accounting practices or known contingencies in the future. Next principle to talk about is cost benefit principle. Cost benefit principle limits the required amount of research and time to record or report financial information if the cost overweighs the benefit. Thus if recording an immaterial event would cause the company a material amount of money it should be foregone the sixth principle is conservatism principle conservatism principle tells accountants should always err on the most conservative side possible in any situation this prevents accountants from overestimating future revenues and underestimated future expenses that could mislead financial statement users if we talk about objectivity of financial statement then it comes under objectivity principle objectivity principle 
talks about financial statements, accounting records and financial information as a whole should be independent and free from bias. The financial statements are meant to convey the financial position of the company and not to persuade end users to take certain actions. The eighth principle is consistency principle. Consistency principle requires all accounting principles and assumptions should be applied consistently from one period to the next. This ensures that financial statements are comparable between periods and throughout the company's history. When we talk about the accrual concept of accounting, it follows the accrual principle. The accrual principle is an accounting concept that requires accounting transactions to be recorded in the time period in which they occur, regardless of the time period when the actual cash flows for the transaction are received. The last accounting principle is economic entity principle. The business entity or the economic entity assumption is an accounting principle that makes a legal distinction between the transaction carried out by a business and the transactions of the owner. It might also sometimes refer to the separation of different divisions in a company. Each unit maintains records of its operations and is responsible for its own transactions. In next lecture, we will continue the topic financial accounting with more depth and will talk about the accounting principles with accounting conventions. Till the time, keep grabbing knowledge for bright upcoming days. Thank you.